up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Thanks so much for supporting me right here at my own project. Uh, gonna break down Red House, the Hendrix uh, classic, iconic blues uh, version that he does. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks again. Let's do it. All right, we're tuned to Half Step Down, like Hendrix did uh, almost all the time. And we're playing a blues and B. So we have a bar chord, or he'd play it with his thumb across on the seventh fret of the E string is the root. So that B minor pentatonic is kind of the zone that the licks are coming from. All the, uh, you know, that wasn't exactly it, but it's all in that B minor pentatonic vibe, and it's a 12-bar blues in the key of B. And so it starts with this kind of classic blues kind of intro, and we're going to just use this little D my, or a D7 shape is how I think of it. But right now it's playing as a B7. And so it's 11 on the G, 10 on the B, and 11 on the high E. And we're aiming for the G and high E like this. G, E, G, E, G. Check it out. G, E, G, E, G. G, E, G, E, G, E. But you're going to be getting the B string in there, especially, you know, uh, you should vary the intensity of it. But if I'm aiming for that high E, you can get that B string in there with it. And it's not every single time. And it's also not an exact pattern. So this is how I count it. I go one and two and three. One and two and three and just like that. So, and I'm going G E G E G G E G E G E. And then it's going to go a half step down, and we're just going to go G E G E G, and we're going to go one and two and three and four and five and six and seven. And when I say seven, we're on the bar, the B bar chord. So check it out. One and two and three. One and two and three and one and two and three and four and five and six and up. So that's how you would count that. Now, when you're going to half step down, you're going to be dip, when you're going G E G E. When you hit that E, get get that B string in there. The other thing I'm doing on the very first one, I'm sliding into it. And then also, I'm kind of I'm shaking, kind of like it's like shaking the guitar neck to get that vibrato. And that's how you kind of get the variations. You don't want to do it all the exact same way. You know, it's all from that blues thing. So one more time, let's keep going. One and two and three. One and two and three and one and two and three and four and five and six and five. All right, now we really get into the minor pentatonic stuff. And we're going to do a bend up to the root. And it's ring finger on the 10th fret of the B. And so we're bending up and then vibrato. So, but a bend. 10 bent up to 12. So we go one, two, three, up, down, up, down. So up a whole step, down natural. One, two, three, up, down, up, down. So next, I'm bending the G string, all from that pentatonic stuff. Ninth fret G string, bend up with my ring and middle finger. So I'm bending nine up, then hitting the seventh on the B. So next, seventh of the high E, and then 10 to seven pull off on the B. So I'm almost like barring that across. Then 
Then I'm hitting one note outside of the pentatonic. It's called the nine, and it's the ninth fret and also the ninth tone of the scale. So, and that's pulled off. So, check it out. Pinky's gonna land on the 10 of the B. And then we go right into a bend on that, it's the classic Hendrix bend, the G string bend on the ninth fret. So let me, let, let me do it from the top. One and two and three. One and two and three and one and two and three and four and five and six and uh. Up, up, three, up, down, up, down, boo doo So I pulled off from 10 to 7, right in to the 9th fret G string whole step bend there. And there's this little phrase. And it starts on the 7 of the G, then up a whole step bend on the 9, like that. And then it releases without hearing it come down. And it releases to that 7 of the G. So, uh... Big vibrato. Then he does a whole step, another whole step bend from this. So he goes, if you can hear that pitch, but he does it from a bend. So you could use your ring finger, or if your index is strong enough, you gotta really get. And then it goes back natural to that seventh fret. Now, if you use your ring finger, you gotta get right back into kind of thing. Now, I can do it easier with my ring finger, but if you, I, I think he was probably doing it with his index. And then here's another classic blues lick. And these can all be used in your regular blues vocabulary. So that's the 9G. A little bit of a bend up, then 7B, 7 high E, immediately to the 10 of the B. There's this little ghost thing that he's doing. He, he doesn't really pick it out. And there's also delay, like at tape echo on the sound. So what I'm kind of doing is my own little interpretation, I think. Uh, just this classic, you know, it's this little flicker. And I'm, I'm hitting the uh, root there. So it's uh, boom. Seven, quick pull off from ten to ten to seven on the B, and then my ring finger is grabbing the nine, and the next phrase is starting on that note. So check it out. that and you almost don't play it it's like kind of I, I, I call it a ghost lick you know it's so ah, it's hard to hard it's one of those finer details it's hard to uh, hard to emulate and I'm not emulating him perfectly so one and two and three 
One and two and three and one and two and three and four and five and six and chord. So once again, we're going to do a nine bend on the on the G. And so we're going up, 7B, 7 high E, pull off on the B from 10 to 7. And then, boom, right back to 9 of the G. Here's another outside of the pentatonic note. This is called the 6th, and it is the 9th of the B. So... So we kind of ham, well, we do hammer nine, seven, nine on the G. And then this is a blues move. And it's hammering to the major third, which outlines that uh, B7 chord, the one chord. Nine, seven hammered up to eight. Okay. So now we go down this little blues thing here, and it's going to be down the blues scale. So nine, seven, but then nine, eight, seven, six, which is the major third, an octave lower than this one. Okay, now we go into this little major run, and we're going to do a little, uh, and it's a quick little hammer on from seven, eight, nine, and then slid up to 11. And then index to the nine of the D. And it continues to go up this little major run B major pentatonic. You know, it's all B major for a minute. But here it is. 7, 8, 9, 11. 9, 11. 13. And then G. 11. 13. And then index to 12 of the B. And then a whole step bend, but I mean a whole step up and bend. So 14th fret, bend it up and release. So, So lots of this, you know, really kind of a B.B. King little thing he goes into there. 
Uh, so when we get up to here, we go three bends up. Then you grab that, then bend, and you pull it down after that second 14 on the high E. You pull, you pull it down. And then da 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 between the 14 and 12 of the B. So. Now we go back into minor, so that was all kind of major stuff. And then in the same position, he uh, switches back to a little minor thing. And that is the 15 of the B string. You know, and it's real, this is a really expressive tone to work with. It's a very, uh, very vocal sounding uh, interval when you're playing that blues. So, so it's like up, down quick, up again. You know, all very expressive. Uh, let's see here. So it's like, and then it comes back up and holds up there with some vibrato. Then another kind of pre-bend down, bend up again. It's all very vocal. You really need to play along with it to get it, you know, to try and get it right, but. And that's all bends, all expressive bends off the 15 of the B string. So, um. Goes right back to that little. Which is back to the major, which would be the 14 bend. 14 high E. You hear it come back down quick and release to the root. And then we're back in the minor position right after that. So uh, let's see, where are we? I was very sloppy there. Uh, let me try that one more time. Uh, let's see, from where though? From right, uh, let's do it a little bit earlier. Uh. So the next lick is bending on the nine of the G, seven B, seven high E. Pull off from 10 to seven on the B, but then 10 to seven on the high E right after. And you can kind of bar your finger there. the whole step bend on the 10 of the high E. If you 
can use your ring, fine. I can do my pinky on that one, but when it goes past the whole step, I can't use my pinky. Then it goes down the pentatonic. You get to that nine of the G, bend it up a whole step, release to that. And then there's a bunch of kind of noise there, but we're going to eventually you're going to go uh, to the root and then roll over to the fifth tone for that turnaround. All right, guys, that was it. Really appreciate you watching the lesson. I hope you stuck with me through it and you can add those licks into your, you know, arsenal. Uh, also, appreciate you supporting Marty Music. That's, uh, you know, if you want to support me, the best way to do it is to make sure it's Marty Music. Thanks again, and we'll see you real soon.